18 years old. And the day that she was taken, I, was, I lived at a ranch right on the highway. And she stopped to see me. She <coughs> visit me that day. She spent a couple hours there with me. And she left. And I asked her where she was going. And she said to her and her friend, her cousin, were going to ride into Mary. And I asked her all, I said, does your mom know you're doing this? Yes. And there's going to be a group of us that are going to bike to Merrick and then we're going to bike back and I'm going to spend the night with her. And I kept telling her, you really need to make sure your mom knows that you're doing this. And she kept saying, yeah, she said, oh, no. but that, that was that evening or that afternoon I talked to her or the next, I guess she ran into her mom and her mom was quite upset with her because she was supposed to look it after her two little sisters. So her mom told her, you get on your bike and you get right back home. And I couldn't believe it. Her mom sent her home. That was a 20 mile bike ride from, from Merritt to where she lived. And so she, so she went and she never made it home. So he must have been watching her along the road and there wasn't like a lot of traffic. So he followed her. She got to just a little tiny hill, and her house was right there. He picked her up at the base of that hill, and nobody knew. He threw her bike over the bank, and he abducted her. And her, her sisters were still at home. One was seven, and one was four. And uh, so the mom, she's supposed to be babysitting her, her kids, and her mom was drinking at the time, so her mom left. And they went on a camping trip, so mom was gone. Sent her home, this was Saturday. So mom went on a camping trip Sunday. Didn't get home till Monday evening. And when she got back, with just the two kids were in the house, and she asked them where is Monica, and they said she went to town. So that's when they started panicking and started searching for her. So they had everybody on our reserve start going along the lake looking for her, and they found her by great close to her house. Where they found her? They found her bike. Uh -huh. But he abducted her and, and it was just outside of Merritt, that uh, up on a, on a mountain where he had killed her. And, uh, they didn't find her remains for years. So they finally had two undercover cops that uh, befriended this guy. And I guess for, sounded like for about two or three years, they were just, and they started discussing how this one guy talked about how he murdered this girl and nobody will ever find her body and then he started talking and he said yeah he said I did that too but he said they found her remains but they'll never find out it was him so as soon as he did they get that, him did they record yeah, that or? they had it oh good they had it they nailed it and that's going down in Vancouver it's right down now down Vancouver right now because I was going to try and get in to the court on Monday but I, I got there too late so I wasn't able to but he's pleaded not guilty so now the parent, the family's got to go through all this yeah. horrible. Yeah. One more day of this noisy song. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Did you, uh, I need an energy drink or something. I was looking at this ice cream, but really good energy drink. I don't think I'm going to make it till 7 to have breakfast and party. I mean, I would if you, if you want to, but... You're going to be like out in the parking lot and I'm going to give you like somebody's bats so and you can beat on me. I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> His friend is a... Um, he wears bareback, eh? Yeah. And they're heading home tomorrow morning because they want to have breakfast with us. Uh, at 7, but if... I mean, if we leave, we're not just... Gonna, it's not going to work. Yeah. And they're going well, back. We already had dinner with him, so that's good. And I got to meet his wife, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you take a picture of us? I'm going to post that on Anita's page. She's going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah.